Using sterile technique, open the suction catheter kit and put on gloves. If using individual supplies, open the suction catheter and the gloves then put on the gloves by first placing the non-sterile glove on your non-dominant hand and then placing the sterile glove on your dominant hand. Using your non-dominant non-sterile hand pour a small amount of sterile solution into the sterile solution container. Close the solution bottle using your non-dominant hand to prevent contamination and spillage of the solution. Pick up the sterile suction catheter with your dominant sterile hand. Coil the catheter around your hand to prevent contamination that could occur if the catheter accidentally touched another object. Using your non-dominant non-sterile hand attach the catheter to the tubing. Using your dominant sterile hand lubricate the outside of the catheter by dipping it into the sterile solution to ease insertion of the catheter into the tracheostomy tube. With the suction catheter tip in the sterile solution, occlude the suction control valve with the thumb of your non-dominant hand. Suction a small amount of the solution through the catheter to lubricate the inside of the catheter. If the patient has a collar over the tracheostomy tube to deliver oxygen or humidification, move it with your non-sterile hand. Alternatively, open the T-piece adapter. Insert the suction catheter into the tracheostomy tube. Don't apply suction while inserting the catheter to prevent hypoxia. For deep suctioning, Insert the suction catheter until you meet resistance and then withdraw the catheter 1 cm for shallow suctioning. Insert the catheter to a predetermined length, usually the length of the tracheostomy, plus the adapter if present. Withdraw the catheter. While withdrawing the catheter, apply suction and rotate the catheter between your fingertips to clear secretions from the sides of the tracheostomy tube. Ensure that the suctioning event lasts for no longer than 15 seconds to prevent hypoxia. Reapply the tracheostomy collar or close the T-piece adapter between suctioning passes to maintain the patient's oxygen saturation. Steadying the T-piece with one hand, use the thumb and index finger of your other hand to advance the catheter through the tracheostomy tube until you meet resistance or the patient coughs. Gently retract the catheter sleeve as you advance the catheter. While continuing to hold the T-piece and suction control valve and applying suction, withdraw the catheter until it reaches its fully extended length in the sleeve. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more medical education. We're always creating new content to help you learn and stay informed. See you in the next training, and take care until then.